Athlete of the Week, brought to you by Gustafson Builder. Good evening, everybody. The Central and Stevens football teams play their annual grudge match tomorrow night at O'Hara Stadium. Former Raiders player Gideon Waldrop is focused on delivering a big performance against his old team. Here's a closer look at our Gustafson Builders Athlete of the Week. Turn up on three. Watch your thing. Turn up. Gideon Waldrop is a standout linebacker and tight end for the Rapid City Central football team. And the senior enjoys the physical nature of the sport. It's kind of like a modern day gladiator in a sense. I love, I love the physical aspect. Um, I'm a very passionate guy, so the emotion is always, you know, it's super exhilarating when you're winning and, and kind of beat a guy up when, when things aren't going your way. But that's what I love about the game are the, the ups and downs and kind of the passion that comes with it. As a middle linebacker, you set the tone in the middle, right? I mean, you're in the trenches. The ball, a lot of times, is coming right at your face, and you can't be afraid to take it on. And, you know, he's, he's done a, a fantastic job of, of holding things down in the middle. Um, he does a good job of working sideline to sideline as well. You know, he, he's, he is, you can tell he's a football player. While Waldrop brings strength and power to the gridiron, he also spends a good amount of time studying football. I pride myself in trying to have a pretty decent football IQ. You know, I try to study my opponents and, and understand the game. You know, I'm not, I'm not the fastest. Uh, I've worked pretty hard in the weight room, so I have decent size. But, uh, you know, speed, speed's something I've had to work for. And I really just try to, I also try to have the mindset of, you know, I'm better than the guy across from me. Gideon has been passionate about football since he was a young kid. He looks forward to playing in college and is currently getting looks from multiple schools. I wanted to play football, but I couldn't play until fourth grade. That's when uh, midget football came into play. And uh, as soon as I hit fourth grade, I begged my parents to let me play, and they let me play and fell in love with it ever since. I mean, ever since I was a little kid, probably sixth or seventh grade, I decided that I wanted to play college football on a scholarship. Uh, that was my biggest dream. And so that's, that's what I've been working for ever since. His mentality, the way that he prepares um, physically, you know, he's got to get faster. He's got to, you know, work on his agility, and he knows those things. Um, that's really the only thing that right now, you know, when it comes to Division One football, he's right on that fringe of, of being one of those guys because he's got the size, he's got the strength, he's not afraid to tackle whatsoever. He's very good at it. Well, let's jump on in for another edition of a Big Old Fish. And this evening, Ryder Yaros is our featured angler. Ryder reeled in this 12-pound, 28-inch steelhead out of Canyon Lake. Congratulations to you, Ryder. That's a great-looking fish you have there. You, too, can be on Big Old Fish. Just send us your picture by using the Submit Photos link at CodaTV.com. Make sure and give us the full name of the person who caught the fish, what kind of fish it is, how big it is, and where it was caught. Get those pictures in, and we will get you on Big Old Fish. Tonight, Jack, WNBA Finals Game 4. The Becky Hammond-led Las Vegas Aces lead New York two games to one, so the Aces can wrap things up and uh, claim back-to-back -back WNBA NBA championships with a win tonight. Game four just about to tip off. We'll let you know how that goes back here tonight at 9 and 10. But Becky Hammond on the precipice of winning her second consecutive WNBA championship. So that's tonight. Then high school football again tomorrow. That's right. High school football tomorrow. We'll have all your highlights back here tomorrow night at 10 on a special Thursday edition of The Hike. All right. Thank you very much, Vic. Well, coming up.